today's video i'm going to summarize george herbert's poem discipline the poet george herbert begins the poem by making an appeal to god to throw away the rod of punishment let the anger of god come down he implores upon god to cool down and adopt a gentle nature while dealing with human beings like the poet himself the poet says that his heart wishes to attain harmony with the heart of god his most cherished aspiration is to reach complete union with the desires of god he does not want to use his tongue in a free way and end up saying things that might be unholy at the same time he does not want to use his eyes to see things that god might not want him to see his words and looks will follow the rules as laid down in the holy scriptures whatever he does in his life will be in accordance to the guidelines laid down in the holy book in other words what the poet means to say is that he has no intention of deviating from the path of god the poet gets the feeling that he fails in his mission occasionally he feels distressed then in his sorrow he weeps however despite faltering in his journey he knows that he is going to reach his destination his speed is not great but gradually he is moving forward he will reach the glorious throne where god sits and he will definitely be able to receive the blessings of god once again the poet makes an appeal to god to get rid of his fury instead god will be able to reach his objective by adopting the path of love love can attain what anger cannot love can melt even the stony hearts of men love has a fast pace love has the power of a soldier who has gone to war love can achieve its target even if it shoots from a distance the poet prays that god might embrace a soft and gentle path so that the most cruel hearts of men might get tamed It is not possible for anybody to escape the arrows which have been shot from the bow of love and compassion. Tenderness and gentleness can influence one and all in a positive way. God had so much love for mankind that he had taken a human shape to mingle and save the people of the earth. If Christ visited the earth, it was because God had immense love for his people. The poet believes that the same love of God can touch him now. In the concluding lines, the poet makes an appeal once more. He begs God to throw away his rod of punishment. Man may have his share of weaknesses, but God can definitely change those faults into strength through the healing touch of love. After all, God is different from man. God has different capabilities. he can work miracles god can achieve what man cannot by throwing away anger god can surely help to lift mankind and help people to adopt spirituality with this i come to the end i have already explained this poem line by line you will find the link uh, to that video on the end screen of this video thank you so much for being here bye